Governor Kemp also said he plans to allocate $900,000 to Middle Georgia State University's Dublin campus to help the college graduate more nurses and address the state's critical nursing shortage. Ramey Cohen talked with a nursing student and the dean about what this expansion means for the future. Open arms. MGA has been outstanding. Every faculty and staff has been amazing. I was just inspired. I felt the call to serve my community and be a part of the medical field. Freeman Shepard owns a barber shop here in Dublin with his brother, but he decided he wanted to change it up a bit and pursue a career in nursing. Such a noble thing to know how to do to react in an emergency situation and help someone out who's struggling, whether it's physical, mental. Shepard's in his first semester at MGA, so he'll get the chance to use two large nursing lecture classrooms, a 20-bed hospital laboratory, and a three-bed nursing simulation lab. A lot of opportunity, a lot of options for a career path. I'm still undecided. I think I maybe want to be an ER nurse, but not sure yet. I'm waiting for clinicals to help me decide my, my true path. Dr. Tara Underwood, the Dean of the School of Health and Natural Sciences, explains the need for state-of-the-art technology, simulation labs being high on the list. Our health science students in particular to practice on mannequins and practice various situations they will encounter in the hospital or other healthcare settings. Born and raised in Dublin, Shepard sees himself. I would like to stay local and, and work at our local hospital, hopefully here at Fairview Park, maybe Macon. In Dublin, Ramey Cohen, 13 WMEZ News. And altogether, the state has funded almost $6 million in improvements to Middle Georgia State University's nursing program in Dublin. They expect to complete their expansion this summer.